just waiting all day Too afraid to try and make a change But now I realize I've got to be brave Thinking out, why can't that be me? Cause I know I gotta show Yeah, what I'm capable of Because I don't wanna be I'll see the stars If you want it, shot, I'll make it Whoa. I got the white back door And all the roadblocks, they don't face me Whoa. I just knock them down Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh yeah If you want it, you can you take ready? it now Are you ready? Oh. Cause I got the white Yeah, I got the white I got the white back I'm gonna go hard, I'm not gonna fit I can feel the eyes of what you made There's only one chance so you can't be late Starting now, I'm making that change It's my goals And I know eh, I gotta make them come true Because I don't wanna be Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Happy new month to you all My name is Jessica and you are welcome to our live healthy living show showing every saturday afternoon at 12 p.m and today is with me and i have an amazing beautiful quiet energetic chef with me hello hi chef jessica i am chef rosemary mm. i'm so excited to be here today in the healthy cooking show wow this is fantastic oh, wow wow so nice to have you here with me thank you very much all so, right okay. okay so chef jessica please what are we actually cooking today oh wow what are we making today today we are going to be cooking plantain sauce with um yeah, just plantain sauce, but I'm going to be pairing that with rice. But we are not going to be cooking the rice on the show. The rice is already cooked. I'm only just going to be pairing it with our plantain sauce. Have you had your plantain sauce with rice before? Have you had something like that before? Don't go anywhere yet because you are about to see an amazing menu today. Wow, I really love to see that, Chef Jessica. All right. I'm so okay. happy to be here in this healthy mm. cooking show. Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so before we dive straight into the introduction of our recipes today, I'm going to first of all wash my hands with soap and water before we introduce our recipes. Okay, without further ado, ado, let's go and wash our hands. All right, so like I always say, before you get into the kitchen, so far, as long as you have to do with kitchen affairs, you have to wash your hands with soap and water, okay? Because we have to make our kitchen hygienic and also the item that you have to use them with. All right, okay, so our recipes for our plantain sauce, I'm going to be using fresh corn on the hob. This is fresh corn on the cob. This is not a normal fresh uh, corn that you get on the roaster. You know that the roasted corn. This is the special sweet corn which you use for your sauce, for rice, for fried rice. Yeah, it's sweet. It's actually naturally sweet. Okay. And then here I have my semi ripe plantain. Okay. And we also have a collie leaf, very fresh collie leaf. And of course, baby carrots. I love baby carrots because they are crunchy, juicier, and more sweet. Okay, so I'm going to be using baby carrots. And I also have here some red bell pepper. We call this local as tatasheya. We have red bell pepper. We have fresh tomatoes in salad masa. When we are doing our healthy living shows, we do not use steam products because they are chemically. Uh, uh, preserved, yeah, and then we also have our yellow squash bonnets. This pepper is small, broad, very, very spicy. Okay, and I'm also going to be using ginger with the skin on, and then garlic and some purple onions. Here I have my fresh macro fish, uh, macro fish, which I'm going to fry with absolutely no oil at all. And then coming to our spices, I'm going to be using sea salt to taste. Here I have my coli, dry coli, and here I also have my cajon spice, which contains oregano, rosemary, paprika, dry paprika, and of course sea sauce. So here we do not use any product that contains MSG because MSG is not actually good for our health. 
All right, so let me quickly do a fast recap again on our recipe. I said we are going to be using sweet corn, ripe plantain, red bell peppers, fresh tomatoes, ginger, garlic, onions, fresh mackerel fish, uh, plantain, curry leaf, fresh carrots, and of course, for our spices, we are going to be using cajon spice, curry, and of course, sea salt to taste. Hello, Madam Shirley. Are you still with me? Yes, I am. Okay, so, all right. Okay, so we finished introducing our recipes. This is the cookware I'm going to be frying my fish in. Madam Rose, have you used this cookware before? Yeah, I've used it before. It's fantastic. It's known mm -hmm. as a bad boy and can do a lot of things. Okay, so what can this can, cookware can actually do? fry, it can cook, it oh, can wow. bake, it can do so much for wow. you. Every, wow. This is like 100% of your kitchen cookware. You can oh, do a wow. lot with this. Wow. Did you hear that? Did you actually hear that? Of course, I trust you too. All right, so... We are going to start immediately, okay? So I'm going to start first by frying my macro fish. Okay, but first thing first, before we fry our macro fish inside our electric skillet, also known as the good boy. Okay, so this cookware is all in one. You could use this for cooking, frying, roasting, just like Madame Rose have mentioned. Okay, but before you use this for frying, you have to preheat it for about five to six minutes, yeah? five to six minutes, just like the same way you heat your oil and all that. But we are not using any drop of oil at all, all right? So first thing we are going to do, we're going to get some water. And then we are going to test if our electric skillet is heated because I've already preheated my electric skillet, yeah? I've already preheated my electric skillet for five to six minutes. I'm setting this aside so that you have a clear view. We have to see everything. Okay. So our electric skillet is coming to the center. We want to have a clear picture. I hope you can see that. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Okay. So the electric skillet is already preheated. This is already preheated. Now I'm going to test if it's heated enough for me to fry my fresh mackerel fish. The first thing you are going to do is to bring out some water, just a little, okay? Drop some inside the electric skillet that is already preheated. You see when it beats and drowns or bubbles, then it's ready to fry. Isn't that amazing? With absolutely no oil at all. Okay, thereby we are not wrapping our fish inside oil. Okay, we are frying the fish with its own natural oil. All right, okay. Okay, so no drop of oil at all. Perfect. So then I'm going to put in my macrofi. So this macrofi is already seasoned this with sea salt. Yeah, just only with sea salt. To, so you can also fry your fish, your other fish like your croaker fish, your catfish, your salmon, whatever fish you want to fry. You can actually fry this in here with absolutely no oil. You can also fry your beef, your goat meat, your ram, your chicken, your turkey in the same manner without adding oil at all, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so because we are not cooking, had it been that we are cooking this fish, we're supposed to cover it this way. But because we are not cooking, we are frying, we are going to keep the lead halfway like this, okay? All right. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave this fish to fry. Then when it turns a little bit brown, I'm going to flip it to the other side. So while we are waiting for the fish to fry, I'm going to be boiling this plantain. Like I said today that we are going to be making plantain sauce. Yeah, plantain sauce. Okay, Madam wow. Rose, please, I would like you to help me to cut Fantastic. this plantain into maybe like four or five, five. chunks. Okay. Yeah, all right. So thank you. So are we doing it with the skin? I just want to know. Yes, we are we are making it with the skin. All right. I want to look so that you have clear space, space. Space. Alright. Now put it here so that they will have a clear view. Alright, so we are going to be cutting this plantain in smaller sizes. We are going to boil this plantain, or rather, we are going to cook this plantain with its own skin, in, in your, indicating that we are not going to immerse the plantain inside water, okay? We are going to cook this plantain with the skin on, and we are also going to be cooking this in the three quarts with the insides, 
Plantain is not growing under the soil. Thereby, I know you'll be asking me, so why are you cooking it with the skin on? Plantain is not, cook, is not growing under the soil, or why? The reason why that we are cooking it with the skin on and not immersing it in water is because we want it to have that natural sweetness. Because there are some food that are water soluble that when you cook them in water or when you immerse them in water, they lose its own natural flavor, taste, and also uh, the nutrients. Yeah? All right. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is the, yeah, I can drop it there. Okay, so this is the, the three quarts that we are going to be cooking this uh, nice looking plantain in. Here is our three quarts. This is Salad Master Healthy Cooking System made of titanium 3160 i which helps to keep the purity of your food, protects the flavor, locks in the flavor, and also when you cook it in the right way, you retain an average of 93% of the nutrients in your food. Isn't that amazing? It is okay. amazing. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Very, very amazing. Okay. All right. So this is two in one. Here is the insights. Okay. And this one is the three quarts. Okay. So if you want to make your rice, you can just use this and then keep this away. Or if you want to cook your uh, plantain, just I'm about to do now, or your yam, your Irish potatoes, or whatever you want to cook there. Or maybe your mom, you can just put it then in here. All right. Okay. So then I'm going to add some water, some small water, not so much, inside the three quarts. This is enough. And then this is the inside. Okay, you can see some holes in there. So then I'm going to drop my uh, cut plantain inside here. See? This is amazing. Okay, so this uh, method I'm using is absolutely optional. If you want to fry your plantain, you can fry your plantain and then use it for the sauce. Or if you don't want to fry, you can just cut it this way that I just did. Yeah? So it's two options. It's either you fry or you boil. So I'm going to boil mine now. Then we cover. And so we are going to put this on the electric hob to cook for about 10 minutes. You're okay. Okay, so we are about to cook the plantain. All right, so the plantain already cut in chunks and also put inside the Salar Master Healthy Cooking System, three quarts with the inside. So this is exactly the same, the, uh, how it looks, very lovely. So now I'm going to turn up the hob and we are going to cook this on a low heat. Remember that Salar Master Healthy Cooking System, we cook with low, uh, medium, click low, yeah? So then I'm going to cover this, and this is the vapor wrap. This is uh, this uh, cookware is anti calibrated to notify you when you are cooking above 86 degrees Celsius. Thank you. That's great. Because at 90 degrees to 90 something degrees centigrade, your food starts losing its natural nutrients. Mm -hmm. But when you cook at the degree of 86, mm -hmm. that means the nutrients in your meals are intact. Oh my God, I can't wait for this meal to be ready. The preparation is already so exciting. I'm excited already. Cooking with Salad Master Healthy Cooking System makes me so excited because each time I want to cook, I'm always, always, Ooh. always excited because I can't wait for it to come out. I want to see how lovely it looks and also how nice it tastes. Okay, wow. okay, now, so let's check our fish, which I'll be frying for about 10 to 15 minutes now inside the electric skillet, yeah? So for you to fry your fish inside the electric plate, you have to preheat your electric plate for five to six minutes at 200 and, uh, 250, all right, because you are frying. Okay. So I've already preheated and the fish is frying nicely and then I reduce the heat. So when you notice that it's too uh, hot, you have to reduce the heat. So I've reduced the heat to 180, okay, Celsius. And the fish is fried nicely, and uh, it's time for me to flip it over. This is our salad master uh, tuna. So you just gently flip the fish to the other side for you to fry. You see that? So you can see that we are not frying the fish inside oil. All right, and then do we have to trash the oil from the fish? Absolutely not, because the oil from the fish also contains 
omega-3 fatty acids, which is very, very good for the skin and also help your skin to grow. I know the oil from this fish is a good protein, okay? And also the bones too also contains a lot of calcium, which keeps the energy strong and very, very uh, nice. Okay, so we are going to sleep this to also fry very well. So we are going to still leave this to continue to fry. While we are waiting for the fish to continue fry inside the electric skillet, I'm going to dive straight inside the cutting. I'm going to be cutting, shredding, chopping, and slicing with my friend in the kitchen. This is my friend in the kitchen. <laughs> this is a lot master food processor. It is manual. Yeah, it is manual. No kitchen is complete without this masterpiece. Wow. This is phenomenal. I already this is this. Wow. This is a wow. wow. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to wash my hands again and then I will start to use the machine. All right, Chef Rose, you can also wash your hand because you'll also be helping me to yes, slice one yes, or two. Yes, yes, yes. I'm uh, excited. I love cooking. You know. Okay. All right, so the first thing we are going to start with that we are going to start with the ginger and the garlic. We are going to start cutting that with the salad master machine. All right, so Chef Rose, please assist me to do that quickly. I'm going to use thank my you. Kowon. Thank kowon. you. So for you to shred your vegetables, you use the kowon. So mm. I'm going to use the kowon to do the shredding because it's ginger and it's garlic and they have to come out in small, in smaller shape. Yeah. So this is how you fix it. You know, ginger helps to reduce high blood pressure. So it's a very good thing. Yeah, you can also, yeah, that can also help you. You can just slice in yes. why I talk a lot about the ginger. All right, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah? Okay, okay, so the ginger is actually not peeled because in Salad Master, this is how diligent show. We do not peel any of our simple crops like ginger, turmeric, beetroot, sweet potatoes, Irish potatoes, yam. In fact, anything that has to do with simple crops. All right, because our dietitian or nutritionist said that if you feel any of this for then you are feeling most of the nutrition away because we don't want to lose, not even one. We don't want to lose any of the nutrients, the nutrients in our food. All right. Okay, now so she's using the corn one because we want this, uh, the ginger and also the garlic in a smaller, almost like invisible size. All right, so this is your friend in the kitchen. This food processor is phenomenal. It comes with five different cones from cone number one to cone number five to give you the lovely shapes, sizes, and design of your fruits and your vegetables. So if you want to decorate your salad, you love the spicy salad, the master salad master processor is there for you to do your magic. All right. Okay, so thank you so much, Chef Rose. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so then we're going to start with the onions. All right, so we are going to start with the onions, yeah? Sorry, need to raise my hand again. All right, so we are going to start with the onions. I'm going to start from number two. This is code number two. I know most of us don't like seeing naked big onions in our food. A lot, a lot of people who doesn't like big onions, they don't like seeing naked onions in their food. And so, this is your friend in the kitchen. You can actually use your code number two to slice your onions. And trust me, you wouldn't even say it, okay? And it's also very good to add a lot of onions in your food. They add a lot of onions in your food. When you add a lot of onions in your food, it enhances the flavor, the sweetness of the food. And did you know that onions is very, very healthy for you? It's good for you. It's good for your hair growth. It helps in your immune system. Yeah, and it's also very, very for skin. Okay? And it also adds as a sweetener in our food. Hmm? Right. So I'm going to continue slicing. Okay, like she said in the onions, when you have fishy air, you can use your onion too as mm -hmm. the moisturizer so that mm -hmm. when you do your air, it will help you for the fishy aspect. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this onions is trying to be with me, but no, my <laughs> friend is assisting me. Yeah, as far as I thought it would be, yeah, because I'm using Salad Master food processor, no Terry I. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay. All right, so this is my onions, ginger, and garlic inside the salad master bowl. All right, so I'm going to set this aside, and then I'm going to continue with the carrots. Okay, so we are going to continue to slice with the carrots too. All right. I hope you can see that very well. Okay, so this is our baby carrot. Carrot is very, very good. It contains beta-carotene contains vitamin A, very good for you, and also good for collagen, yeah, contains collagen, which is very, very good to your shiny skin, and also vitamin A for clear, 
this journey. All right. So I'm going to still use another phone. You see why I love Salary Master Food Process? It helps you to experiment the different uh, shapes of fruit and vegetable because it's a master of fruit and vegetable. All right, so I'm using cone number three, and then I'm going to be using that for my carrot. So you'll be wondering, ah, oh, Chef Jessica, why all these fruits, why all these colors? Make your food as colorful as possible. Give it that rainbow nice looking yummy colors. The blue, the green, the red, the purple, the white, everything. All right, try to eat as much vegetable and fruit as possible. Okay, so I'm still going to experiment on another cone. I'm still going to be using cone number five which is also the, the waffler, which gives you this waffle crinkles design. See how fast it's easy. Our customers say that it saves them 50% of their cooking time in the kitchen. Because when one is slicing, it's as if five to six people cutting, shredding, slicing, chopping at the same time. Okay? All right. All right, this is so lovely. So this is our carrots, cut with cone number two and cone number five. Very beautiful and lovely. So the next one I'm going to slice now. Chef Rose is going to be assisting me. The next one I'm going to be slicing now, I'm going to be slicing the red bell pepper, yeah, and the tomatoes. So she's going to help me to do that, all right? Okay, so Chef Rose, please, I need your assistance, please. I need you to slice this tomatoes for me. Oh, wow. Mm. I love that shape, but I also want it in cubes, like four, for just four equal parts. Because with this is sauce, we want to see all the vegetables popping out. Yeah, that is beautiful. Thank you. All right, so tomatoes is very, very good for you, and it's always so uh, good to use a fresh item whenever you are cooking. Please, whenever you are preparing your food, try as much as possible to get them fresh. It's actually very good to eat them when they're in season, okay? When they're in season. So this is season of tomatoes, red bell peppers, and the like. Get them fresh and try as much as possible not to consume food, preserved food with chemicals, all right? Try and make this year, 2023, your healthy year. Make it healthy year by trying to eat healthy. And that reminds me, we're also running a health program whereby we call it a 30 days hair restore challenge where you use plant-based food to cure most of these slight diseases like cancer, obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, and the likes, okay? Do not allow the sickness to cause you before you know what to do. Try to eat plant-based, okay? Eat plant-based food and take care of your health as much as possible. What do you have to do? All you have to do is to order 24 hours before. Just select from our yummy, delicious, nice-looking prepared in our kitchen. Just select, pay, and we get them delivered either in your home or in your office and you enjoy your meal. Okay, so it's just aiming for 30 days whereby you do not eat any animal product at all. No fish, no meat, no chicken, no talking, no plants. Just strictly plant-based. Okay, plant-based and vegetables. All right. Okay, so thank you so much, Chef Rose. Very you are doing absolutely nice. Thank you. <laughs> all right, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel called The Healthy Living Shows. Okay, give this video a big thumbs up like comment and also share this video and also in sarah i want to see you uh ask us questions on this video if you try any of our recipes before or what do you think that we can do to actually improve, uh, improve on our videos and our cookery or whatever that it is all right subscribe to our youtube channel so that you get all the videos once it's uploaded and we are also streaming live on facebook as salad master in nigeria or oh, my health is my wealth Please, can you follow us on our Instagram handle at a girl salad master? All right, so we are going to be, uh, okay, so we are going to be checking on our plantains. Like Rosemary, are you done? Are you done? Are you almost, done? Almost are you done? done? Are you done? Yes. Okay, so let me quickly help you that. Let me quickly help you to do that. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me quickly help you. Okay, thank All you. All right. All right, so we are going to quickly 
do this so that we can check on our plantain and also our fish. Yeah. So this is my bell pepper. Okay, I removed the seed because the seed is actually bitter. All right, it's bitter. So you need to just to remove the seed, and then if you are using them for your stew or for, yeah. So if you are using them for your stew, then you don't have to remove the pepper because the the seed too are also medicinal. Okay, all right. So this sauce we are making, you don't have to put so much tomatoes in there, no. We want everything just like normal sizes and not so much. So once I'm finished slicing this, I'm going to quickly check on my fish and then we check our plantain and then we start making the sauce immediately. This is very, very simple to make, very easy to make. This is a dish you could either cook on a Sunday or for a birthday or just for a small gathering, all right? Or you just want to wire your friends just not like the normal Sunday stew, 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 stew. Okay, if you just make this, and they will be like, oh my God, this is something I need to try out. All right, so let's check on our fish. Let's check on our fish. All right, one, two, three, and we go. go. Wow, look this at that all in there. Wow. Hmm, hmm. This is so beautiful. Oh, Chef Rose, if you continue oil. frying fish like this, trust me, I'm going to be eating fish oh, every day. Wow. Every day, because you know why? It's, it's not, not fried in artificial oil. oil. Yes. Yeah? This is very, very healthy. Yes. Okay, so let's flip this. Oh, oh, oh wow. Hmm. Wow. So if you also want to marinate your fish, like for 24 hours, could also marinate it with ginger, garlic, cajun spice, but don't marinate it with pepper because if you marinate it with pepper, spicy pepper, as you are frying it, you'll be choking on pepper, except you love to cough and sneeze in while frying. For me, I don't like that. Okay, all right. All right, so let's now check on our plantain. Plantain. Okay, Chef Rosemary, I said this plantain is going to cook for 10 minutes and it's up to 10 minutes now. So this plantain should be ready. Yeah, it's ready? Yes, of course it is because I trust the cookware. The salad mm -hmm. maca cookware, so I believe it's ready. Oh, wow. Look how colorful it is. This is so beautiful. Uh-huh. And this was not cooking water. It was not immersed in water, okay? So this trust me, this plantain is going to be yummy because everything is intact. Nothing was leaching, yeah? And remember, there was no salt added to it. Mm -hmm. It was cooked with its natural flavor. Okay. And when you taste it, it will be so delicious that you think something was added to it. Thank All you. All right, okay. All right, so now we are going to turn off the heat because it's ready and we are going to leave it to cool down because I cannot endeavor to burn my hand. God, the plantain is so hot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave this to cool down now and then let's get started with our sauce. Okay, so we are about to go into the main, 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 main proper, proper thing. All right, so we are going to start with the sauce now, the plantain sauce, right? We boiled our plantain, we've got our fish frying nicely inside the electric skillet. So now let's check our fish if it's ready so that we can also stuff in our onions, ginger, and garlic, and then we fry them together. Ooh, woo. <laughs> That's exciting. All right, so let's check our fish. Our macro fish, fresh fish, fried inside the electric skillet with absolutely no drop of oil. Whoa! Wow! 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 Right. Okay. So I just have to add this. You see how our fish fried nicely inside the electric skillet. Yeah, with absolutely no oil at all. So this oil in here, I'm not going to trash it because the oil too is very healthy. So then I'm going to turn in my onions, my ginger, and my garlic already, already sliced with the salad master cook processor. So then we add this inside the fish. Yeah. All right. So you try to add more, uh, more of garlic, ginger, and onions inside your food, especially for beans, stew, sauce, yam potato, 
Okay? They are very healthy. They are also helps to enhance the flavor of your food, giving it a nice aroma. Okay, so I'm just going to stir fry this for about a few minutes. Okay, just a little bit for the onions to be transparent. So then I'm going to add in my sliced tomatoes, sliced our uh, yellow scotch bonnets, and red bell pepper. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the tomatoes first. I'm adding everything at once and then we stir fry. Then I'm going to add in the red bell pepper, sliced red bell pepper. And of course, the yellow scotch bonnet. This yellow scotch bonnet is amazing. It's a little bit spicy and has its own nice flavor. Okay, it has a special flavor. It adds to its food. All right, so then I'm going to stir fry this a little. So meanwhile, while I'm stir frying, I'm going to reduce the heat. So we added in the tomatoes, the red bell pepper, and the red scotch bonnet, the ginger, and the garlic, because these are vegetables. We don't want to use the nutrients in there, yeah? So I've just reduced that. I'm going to reduce that to 130. Okay, nice. So then I'm also going to add in my corn, my fresh corn. This corn does not take any minute. It doesn't take much time to cook, just about three to four minutes. The corn is ready. So then I'm going to add in my fresh corn. Okay. And then my sweet carrots. Nice fresh sweet carrots in here too as well. That is the reason why I love cooking with Salad Master because just get all your recipes together. Boom, boom, boom. Dump everything in there and then it will be ready in no time. All right, so then I finished adding in my vegetable here. I have carrots, sweet corn, red bell pepper, fresh tomatoes, ginger, garlic, and of course, onions. So then I'm going to be adding in the spices, okay? So I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of cajun spice, one tablespoon of cajun spice. Here is just a teaspoon, so I'm going to be adding two of this, making a tablespoon, okay? All right, so here I have my cajon spice. Remember I said my cajon spice contains paprika, oregano, rosemary, and sea salt. Nice. The next one I'm also going to be adding, I'm going to be adding a dry curry powder, which also enhances the flavor and the aroma. So then I'm going to be adding one teaspoon in salad master. You do not need, need so much spice. Because it's whatever you put in, it's what you get in, garbage in, garbage out. All right, so one teaspoon of curry powder. And here also, I'm going to be adding sea salt. Remember I said that my cardamom spice also contains sea salt, so I'm just going to be adding a little, because it's better to add little salt in your food rather than over salting your food. Hmm. Okay, here I have one third of teaspoon. Yeah. So we add here everything in here. So they will give this a very good way combined. We combine this, tear this all together. You have to be gently so that you do not pieces your fried fish. Mm -hmm. Your fried fish, you do not pieces them. All right. So then I'm going to cover this not frying this. I'm going to cover this. Remember, it's still on a low heat. So then I'm going to cover this, and then now at this time, I'm going to be playing my plantain. So once I finish playing my plantain, I'm going to be adding them in there, and also stir fry, and then continue cooking. Please, Chef Mary, Mary could you help me with the plantain, please? Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this is it's too hot. I'm going to just transfer this in here. Remember the plantain was not cooking water. It was not immersed in water. All right, help me pass this, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hand because I'm going to start cutting, peeling off the skin of the plantain. Okay. All right, 
right, so I'm going to be peeling off the skin of the plantain. Oh, this is too hot. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, Chef Rosemary, you could help me. Either uh, you are slicing it off and then I'm um, cutting it because I want this in cubes. All right, so we have different kinds of, different ways of which we cook our plantain. It's either you fry it, you bake with it, you do swallow with it, you make smoothies with it, or you use it as a side dish. Okay, so now, while we are peeling the plantain, okay, we have to go on a short break and we will be right back. Please do not go anywhere yet because I want you to stay to the end of this video to see the art cup of this yummy delicacy, okay? I'll be right back shortly. Hey guys, it's me again. Remember my midnight strolls in Lagos, the heat in Lagos. Yeah, guess what happens? I'm now in the freezing London. Freezing London. It's freezing. Look at that. Look, some of you can see some of the faces is a bit dark, but it's freezing. And the freezing makes you think of the heat in Nigeria. But this one I've got to do quick because I'm cold. I'm cold. Now, what's inspired me? What's inspired me during this walk? You know, you get those people that you tell them to eat healthy, eat healthy, and you probably even do a presentation for them. And at the end, they know it's right. And you know what they say? Something must, my friend, something must kill a man. Now guys, something must kill a man. Yep, not something, yeah. Something can kill a man. <laughs> yeah, bad food can kill a man, you know. We heard of people committing suicide by taking pills, taking things that are not good for them, and they die. That's not in God's time. That's in their time. Some of us are taking our lives in our time, not God's time. And what do I mean by that? We're eating food that's bad for us. And guess what? We're leaving the world early, earlier than expected. Yep. Don't tell me God asked you to eat bad food. No, you decided. So guys, what I'm saying to you all here, stop saying something must kill a man, yeah? Take care of yourself, take care of yourself, watch yourself, stay healthy. And guess what? Get on our Health Restore program, 30 days of detox. That's what you need, detox. Give your body a go, give it a chance, give your health a chance. Life is for living. And thanks, me signing out. Bye. Hello, we're back. And so I hope you've been enjoying what we're doing here. And so back to Chef Jessica. Oh. Check our plantain sauce. Okay, so it's time for us to open the plantain sauce. Let's go. I can't wait. Wow, I wow. can't wait. I'm I can't so wait to excited. see how it's Okay. Oh, wow. It's yummy. Hmm. Mm. Oh, my, my. You saw the aroma is so so, so so palatable, so mm -hmm, nice. Mm -hmm, I love mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. Just get your plates ready, get your spoons and your fork ready wow. because this is about to go down. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Okay, so I then, can't wait to test this. Okay, all right. So this is our diet plantain in cubes. Okay, and this plantain was not actually cooked in the water, or not even immersed in water. So then I'm going to be adding this inside the sauce. All right. So this is very easy to do. Remember I say it's of two options, either you fry the plantain or you just boil, just like I do here. All right, so then I've finished adding in the plantain, now I'm going to stir this all together, yeah? So you stir all this together, make sure they are well combined, all the ingredients are well combined. So if you are just joining us on the show today, or if you are just joining us on the show now, and you are wondering what we are making today on the show, so me and Chef Rose, we made plantain sauce with absolutely no oil and no water. The fish was not fried in oil and the plantain was cooked, yeah? And in here we have a uh, plantain, boiled plantain, fried fresh fish, fresh carrots, fresh tomatoes, and Chef Rose, please, can you call the rest of the recipes we add in here? Uh, ginger, we have yeah. garlic, we have onion, mm -hmm. we and have a... Uh, uh, red bell pepper, which yeah. is known as attaché, mm -hmm. then plantain, mm -hmm. and then our sweet corn on the cob. Yeah. 
And then for the spices, we added in Cajon spice. You all know that Cajon spice does not contain MSG. And then we also added curry powder and, of course, sea salt to taste. All right, so I'm done uh, turning this now. I'm just still going to cover this, allow this to just to simmer for two more minutes. So while we are waiting for the plantain to simmer, the plantain sauce to simmer, we are going to slice our curly leaf. This leaf is small but mighty, has a whole lot of health benefits, okay? Which I'm not going to start mentioning now. I'm not a dietitian, neither am I. I'm not, I'm not a nutritionist, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to dice this. I'm going to slice this, okay? It's very, very good. You can also add this in your stew, in your jar of rice, or even in your portage, making it to have a nice aroma. And it's very, very healthy for you. Very, very healthy. And it has this nice aroma. Yeah? Okay. So it's always good. Yeah, Chef Rose. Wow. To always uh, wash your vegetables before, before you slice Thank them. You. Yeah, 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 it's very, very good. I always do that. Yeah, do no that. matter how little it tastes, always please to wash your vegetables, okay, before you slice them. Because when you uh, slice and then you wash, you wash out the difference, yeah, you wash yeah. out the flavor, and you wash out the goodness. Yeah, yes, yes. All right, so I'm going to add this now inside my plantain. Hmm. Ah. Mm. This is so beautiful. Mm. The color, the mm. aroma, it's so, going to be so very, good. very yummy. So, so good. All right, so then I'm turning up the heat. Remember in Salad Master, we cook from what, Chef Rosemary? Please tell them. We cook from the medium heat to the lowest of your heat. Uh, salad Master cook, we cook from the lowest, from the medium to the lowest of heat. Mm. At 85 degrees centigrade, it tells you that the butter fat tells you that the heat is enough to cook whatever you're cooking there. And when you cook your food above 85 degrees centigrade, the internal value is, it loses the internal value of the food. So 85 to 86 degrees centigrade, is, that is how our salam master cook will cook. So all the internal value are intact. Exactly. Super so whenever nice. you are eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you are taking in 93% of your nutritional value of your food. Mm. So how will you feel when every day you eat, mm. you eat 93% of the nutritional value of every meal you take? Let me tell them. Let yeah, me tell them. Ahead, you will look better, better, you will feel better, and you will also do what? Look healthy. Look healthy. healthy. Yeah, you feel healthy, you feel energized, exactly. you feel relaxed. So no you feel, day. feel, feel very young and happy. Wow. Okay. All right, so we are almost done with the cooking now. Yeah, this is almost ready. Yes. So it's time for us to dish. But before we do that, we are going to go on a short break, and we will be right back. Please do not go anywhere. We'll be right back shortly. Welcome back to our Healthy Living Shows. If you are just joining us today and you are wondering what we're making today on the show, we made our plantain sauce. Yeah, plantain sauce with absolutely no oil and no MSG. Cooking salad master healthy cooking system. All right, so the food is ready. It's time for us to dish. Please grab your plate, bring your plates for us, and also your fork because it's time to eat. Okay, so I, in here I have my rice. 
This is already cooked rice, but I did not put this rice on the show, yeah? So this is already cooked rice in my one quart. White rice, so I'm going to be eating this white rice with my plantain sauce. All right, so our sauce is ready. I'm going to dish. The first thing I'm going to dish first is my rice, okay? My white rice. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel called The Healthy Living Shows. Like, comment, and also share. All right, so done. I'm going to be dishing this. Ula. Mmm, yummy. So what will you be eating this with, Chef Rose? Is it rice? This is our rice, but eating it with a sauce. The okay, I'm asking, sauce. what will you prepare to eat this with? I know it's right, but what else? Can you eat this with? With our plantain sauce. Ah. I want to see how it's going to taste. Okay. Plantain sauce we just served now. <laughs> okay. So this plantain sauce, so I can just eat it as a meal. It's a meal on its own. I can just combine with rice. Yeah? Okay. All right. So time to dish our... It's time for us to dish our plantain sauce. I can't wait. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. I can't, I can't wait. wait to taste it. This is going to okay, be real, no, yummy, I yummy. I can't stop three, can't stop three. One, mm -hmm. two, and three. Wow. This is so beautiful. All it's right. It's very, very tasty. Yeah. So then, you add the plantain sauce by the side. Okay, so you already have your plantain and your sauce. Okay, so this is a preparing meal. This is so yummy. We have fish there planting a whole lot of recipes in here and super super yummy absolutely fantastic this is fabulous mm. all right okay. still have to add in more fish i want to or you all to see my yummy fish fry with absolutely no oil isn't this amazing Oh, Isn't this, this looks looking beautiful. fabulous. Inviting mm -hmm. and very, very yummy. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is going to be really tasty. Mm -hmm. it's and so this inviting. food was cooked with absolutely no water. No. The and plantain was water. cooked. The fish was fried with our oil. And then the vegetables. Oh, wow. They're fried. It goes so well with the rice. Yes. Looking so yummy wow. and appetizing. Woo. Salad master is very, mm. very. Okay. <coughs> All right. Okay, so Chef Rosemary, thank you. This is your first time joining me on the show, yes. and uh, it was wow, 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 wow. wow. I wow. really enjoyed it. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So thank you so very much for joining me on the show. Thank you to every one of you. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. For those of you that are yet to subscribe, thank you so very much too. But please subscribe, okay? Subscribe, share this video, give this video a big thumbs up, and join us again next week at the same time at 12 p.m. West African time on Saturday afternoon. It's going to be another recipe, yummy, 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 as usual. All right, so from me now, and signing out, and Chef Rosemary, Ooh, we are signing, signing out, out, and so we say, Medium, click, low, and we go again. Medium, click, low, and we go. Bye. Hey, guys, it's me again. Remember my midnight strolls in Lagos, the heat in Lagos. Yeah, guess what happens? I'm now in the freezing London, freezing London. It's freezing. Look at that. Look, some of you can see some of the faces a bit dark, but it's freezing. And the freezing makes you think of the heat in Nigeria. But this one I've got to do quick because I'm cold. I'm cold. Now, what's inspired me? What's inspired me during this walk? You know, you get those people that you tell them to eat healthy, eat healthy, and you probably even do a presentation for them. And at the end, they know it's right. And you know what they say? Something must, my friend, something must kill a man. Now, guys, something must kill a man. Yep, not something, yeah. Something can kill a man. <laughs> yeah, bad food can kill a man. You know, we heard of people committing suicide by taking pills, taking things that are not good for them, and they die. 
that's not in God's time. That's in their time. Some of us are taking our lives in our time, not God's time. And what do I mean by that? We're eating food that's bad for us. And guess what? We're leaving the world early, earlier than expected. Yeah? Don't tell me God asked you to eat bad food. No, you decided. So guys, what I'm saying to you all here, stop saying something must kill a man. Yeah? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Watch yourself. Stay healthy. And guess what? Get on our Health Restore program. 30 days of detox. That's what you need. Detox. Give your body a go. Give it a chance. Give your health a chance. Life is for living. And thanks. Me signing out. Bye.